Well, hello and good morning to you. We're a little bit early this morning, aren't we? Um, we're live just on YouTube and on my website at the moment. Uh, we'll go live on uh, Facebook um, in about five minutes because they're not expecting us till 11. The reason being, um, normally when I try and do three platforms at the same time, um, I'm here for half an hour before we go live, set it all up and then nothing happens. So the last couple of weeks it's been quite, um, quite frustrating because I've been late. So I thought I'll get here nice and early. We'll set it all up. We'll go live 10 minutes early, then we'll sort out the problem. No problems. We must be doing something right. So anyway, so that's why we're here early. So I just thought we'd have a bit of a catch up before we start sewing. Um, so a few good mornings to YouTubers. Pauline, sew with P. Um, morning Marilyn and Laverne and Chrissy and Mary and Nasiba. Hope I pronounced that right. Morning Sazzle. Um, Maureen's with us from Northern Italy as usual. Hi Maureen and, and Dawn. Megan, I'm going to be making a little drawstring bag. I made one on um, Sewing Street the other day and got loads of comments. I thought I'd love everybody watches Sewing Street, so I'm going to make one again from my new book. Um, hi Aisha and, uh, and Cherry Elizabeth. Apologies if I miss anybody out there. Um, morning Brian and Lynn. Busy aren't we? How many have we got? can't see. Oh, thank you very much, Dawn. It's new, you know. Morning, Yvonne. Morning, Kim. So what have we been up to? What have you been up to, Nicola, on the Isle of Wight? What are your sewing projects at the moment? I've got, if you can hear that, I've got a dog crunching a bone down here. Haven't you, Bob? But my Bob cam isn't working, so I can't show her to you. So it's not for everything she comes down here, so that's, that's a shame. Um, hi, Carol in Illinois. <coughs> Warmer in Bedfordshire. Jolly good. Um, so what we've been sewing, what, have you got any questions, do you have any requests? Um, thank you Jackie, 106 of you on YouTube. Um, where are we? About five minutes and we'll be on Facebook as well. Uh, anybody on the website? Not as yet, I don't normally do the website on a Saturday morning, that's normally, oh morning Lisa, um, that's normally a, a Wednesday afternoon kind of thing. Geraldine's making a quilt. Tilly's finally watching a live show in Swansea. Hi, Karen from Ohio. Hello, we are all over the place again this morning, aren't we? Morning, um, Leslie, first time here, welcome along. So if you are here first time, then come and let me know, come and say hello. We're, we're getting to be quite a nice, um, ever-growing community here on YouTube from all over the world. Um, Aisha. Missed your work, the one. Oh, thank you very much. And use a razor on your arm. I've got hairy arms. What are you saying? <laughs> um, several times. Mm. That's a bit odd. Um, right. It could be worse. It could be use a razor on your chin. Um, Julia, oh hello Julia, welcome along, first time making book covers today. Um, we, are, we are going to be making, I'm going to be doing some sewing, I'm just waiting for, um, for Facebooks. We're having a bit of a private conversation without the Facebookers this morning, aren't we? First live show from Amanda, hello and welcome along. Um, done that Geraldine. Um, thanks Lisa. Yeah, okay. Um, should, we, should we do Facebook? Should we do Facebook early? They'll be there. They'll, let's do it. They'll, they'll be there, won't they? Morning, everybody on Facebook. Um, we have been here for five minutes on YouTube already, so if you're watching both, that kind of explains why. Um, I was just saying to, to me YouTubers, I um, normally have a few problems on a, on a Saturday morning when I'm trying to go onto more than one platform, so I thought I'd, I'd start early. And it worked, so we're early, so that's that. So I'm going to be making a little drawstring bag. In fact, I shall show you what we're going to be making because it's in, it's in the new book, you know. Which is this one? 
I don't know why I'm playing with tweezers and things this morning. Um, thank you, Daryl. So this is um, summer collection. So I did show you this last Wednesday. Oh, that's what we're going to make. That was quite handy at the at the right page. It's basically, oh, morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Dawn on Facebook. Here we go. Elizabeth's on both. Love Kids in Kenya. Hello, Love Kia. Hi, Linda. Um, this is a compilation of projects from my Half Yard books. There are, I think there's nine Half Yard books all together. So we've taken the ones that look the most summery and put them together. So if you are, hi, Linda. Um, if you do have all of the Half Yard books, you've probably got these projects anyway, to be fair, but there are five new ones in here. Um, so again, if you, if you have a collection of all of those nine Half Yard books, then don't buy this one, because you're doubling up on your projects. Um, but it's a kind of a nice selection of things that you could make for yourself, of quick makes. Everything in here is less than half a metre of, um, oh, honestly, oh, Lisa, sort her out. Um, you have, thank you. Less than half a yard of fabric or less than half a metre of fabric. So they're all quite small projects. And the beauty, I think, of using small amounts of fabric like that is that um, it's not too intimidating for a new sewer. And um, they're simple projects. So if you are new to sewing, that's going to be quite good. Uh, the smaller the amount of fabric, normally the quicker the project is. So they're quite quick projects. And if everything, anything does go horribly wrong or you cut the shapes out wrong or something, it's not wasting very much fabric, which you can still reuse anyway. So anyway, I launched this on Sewing Street the other day. I do have them on the website and I can sign them for you if you leave me a message. Um, but I'm going to make up the little drawstring bag that I made, but I'm making a bigger version of it as well. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so oh, I, I need to scroll down on Facebook. Apologies. Oh, I'm missing lots of you. I do apologise. Uh, good to see you, Leslie and Lorraine and Deborah, Linda. Morning, Debbie. Morning, Carol. Chile in Northampton, says Sarah. We have Chrissy in Australia. Hello. Uh, Kath in Toronto. Um, morning, Connie. Centurion in South Africa is Lynette. Hello. It's nice to see the regular names popping up. Um, from all over the world, which I think is fascinating. Um, so I've got Wendy's in Australia, Sheila's in Plymouth, Susan's in Kent. Good morning, Kent. Uh, morning from a jelly, a jelly Swindon. That should have been very chilly, but it ended up as jelly. I don't know why. Right, um, just really quickly, um, there's. Um <laughs> uh, there are some new bundles on the website if you want to have a look um, at those. I'm not going to take you through lots and lots of fabric and stuff like that because we do that on a Wednesday afternoon on the website. Uh, but we do have some new bundles coming up. I know I'm going to have questions any time now um, from um, about the uh, Wonky Street kits. Hopefully, they will be here either Monday or Tuesday. Thing is, um, last time we had either the coral or the, um, the lilac, this time it's pink instead of coral. Can't get any more of the coral fabric, so it's going to be a pale pink. So there were the pale pink option and the lilac option. If you have a look on my website on debbieshawsewing.com, um, then you'll be able to um, see what's in the kits and everything. But if you haven't seen them before, these are for Half Yard Sewing Club members. So there's no instructions in the kits. The instructions are a project from the Half Yard Club, so you need to be a member. And I've just put some, together some fabrics that I've used to make these, basically. And don't forget, you get your discount as well. You need to use a discount code. So that's what that's all about. So before you start asking, yes. Um, right, so we are going to make a drawstring bag. So I've already cut out the outer pieces. I'll show you here. And I'm making these, I think, with granddaughters in mind. Because look, I've got panda fabric. So that I'm going to use as the lining. And... That's going to be the top bit where the channel goes through. Um, and I'm going to have the coloured bit here at the bottom, like so. So I cut out two pieces for the bottom section. I'll measure those for you as well. 
Um, so we have 12 inches across. These can be any size you like. And 10 inches down. And then I've got a piece that goes across the top. So that's going to measure 12 inches across again. And that one's 5 inches down. But what I'm also going to do is to um, put some piping just across here to break the two pieces up. I wouldn't normally put two pattern pieces next to each other um, because they can confuse each other. But I think by putting a little piece of piping across there, it just breaks it up a little bit. So you can, you can see the two different patterns like so. Right, so that's that for now. So what I'm going to do is put the piping on first of all. Oh, I'm going to put some H640 behind there as well. So take one piece of this and one piece of that and one piece of the piping. This is the pre-made piping that I've got on the website. So I'm just going to cut a piece like this. So that's just a little bit wider and that's going to go with the raw edge together in between the two pieces. But I like to sew them one at a time just so that I can see what I'm doing. If you're a seasoned sewer then you'll be able to do those together at the same time. But if you've not done anything like this before then I think it's easier to see what I'm doing when I'm just sewing straight onto here. So I'm not going to use the zipper foot on my sewing machine doesn't need to but I do have a facility which you will have on most of your um, computerized sewing machines to be able to move the needle over to the left hand side um, so it's the stitch length so I'm just going to swing that needle over so it's the stitch width not the length like so and the needle goes as far as over to that side as I can make it so raw edges together here and I'm going to sew quite close to the piping but not actually through it. Like so. So if you've got a, a zipper foot on your sewing machine, that's fine. That'll take the needle right over as well. Oops, it's a bit wobbly. Like this. And that's not as close as I would like it to be, but the second row of stitching I'm going to sew closer. So making sure that these are the right way up. And let's flip this over. Snowy in Manchester, Helen. Good grief. And then I'm going to sew. I can see the stitch line that I've already made, but this time I want to take the stitch very close to the piping. Again, not all the way through, but close. And in fact, I'm going to put my needle back in the centre because I find that easier. And I can have the foot of my machine over the top of the piping. This isn't very thick piping. It's only about an eighth of an inch and it's quite soft. So I can put the, the foot over the top of it, if that makes sense. But again, if you prefer to use your um, zipper foot, that's fine. Right. So we have this. Hi Sheila in West Yorkshire. Lynn can't see me on Facebook. Oh, um, Sam. Oh, there we go. So that's what we've got. So I've sewn quite close to the cording now and I've got a nice neat little line across there. I think it could have been a bit closer at that point. I can just go back over that and do it again. So all I want is a little black line going across there basically. Oh, where we go? There we go. So I just want a thin black line going across the top. Then I'll do the same with the other two pieces. Um, no, I was a bit early. Um, I was explaining to everyone because um, normally, I'm at, well, the last few weeks I've been a little bit late because I've had technical issues. So I thought I'd get in nice and early. And we just happened to go live nice and early. But I didn't start sewing until 11 o'clock. So we just had a little bit of a chat before that. Um, what I do like to do, and I'll do this on the second piece as well, is I'm just going to trim that a little bit and open it up. And I'm just going to pull the cord away from 
the seam allowance because otherwise when I sew these two pieces together I'm going to have um, a lump of cord where are you so let me snip into the seam here oh, it's gone grab hold of the cord and I'm just going to pull it so that it's away from the seam allowance so that bit's flat it's not the end of the world um, do that one there we go so it snip that off there like that it just makes it a little bit easier to sew over the seam when you do that right let us do the same with this side so go over I've asked you before haven't I Jean I don't know where that is I can't remember do you have a washi material when using contrast depends what I'm making Kathy um, a lot of fabrics these days don't need pre-washing if I'm making a bang, a cushion cover or something that isn't necessarily going to go into the washing machine, then no, I don't bother. Because things like that are normally spot clean, so I'm not, I'm not worried about colours running and shrinkage and that kind of thing. Um, if I was making a dress, then yes, I would. If I was making a quilt, then yes, I would. Um, or maybe if I was using contrast fabrics like a red and a white. Because it's the reds, isn't it, that normally tend to run a little bit. Um, right, so I'm going to sew, I'll sew these all together at the same time so it's a, a little bit quicker than before. Oh, Lizzie says it's sunshine in love with It's a bit miserable here, to be honest. It's not raining, but it's just drizzly and just freezing cold. Right, so I'm just sewing right alongside that cord again. Just the same as on the other one. Lynn is not to be disturbed in this hour by her husband. Morning, Mary, or Marie, however you pronounce it. <laughs> so I, I, I clean, um, I like a clean studio, a clean sewing room or sewing area when I start sewing. Um, I make a right old mess when I'm here, but then I do have to clean it all up afterwards. I, I don't like mess. Um, but I do have a bin down here, but it's overflowing, so everything's on the floor at the moment. So in run corn. Um, so again, let's pull out a little bit of this piping. Snip. And same on this end. Beautiful blue skies in Devon. Oh, Leslie, that's a good tip. Yes, don't, don't wash your jelly rolls or your, your pre-cuts. Um, if I do have I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't normally wash fat quarters or anything like that. But maybe just um, finish the edges off before you wash them if you really want to. Right. So snip that off there. Like so. Then we'll put our H640 on the back. I brought enough. That doesn't look very wide. Might have to join a bit of that. I thought that was a bigger piece. So let's bring up my ironing board and we'll join it together. No, Alex, my offer wasn't accepted. We're negotiating, but we're still looking. So we might not end up there after all. Um, I think we've missed out on the, um, the What's It holiday, the stamp duty holiday. So there's not so much of a rush now, really. Morning, Debbie Day. says the shimmer fabric has gold flat oh <laughs> I'm missing now I didn't know that I shall <laughs> I shall have a word with my daughter <laughs> gold fex <laughs> maybe that's why it's been selling so well morning Irene um, miss the question about your zipper Eve I'm not using one so it must have been another question um, if you have a look on my Facebook page and, and in fact wait it must have you um, there is a YouTube tutorial it's quite old now but on my Facebook page uh, if you go through the videos there is a video on how to add a slider to a continuous okay. zip and I do have one on Facebook as well so it's it's not as difficult as it looks or as you think it might look Okay, so I'm just joining two pieces of fleece at the back here. 
like so. Lisa's got a spanner next to her name because she moderates the site for me. Um, Lisa and Kim between them are responsible for taking away um, people who think that I'm fat, old and need my arm shaving today apparently. So that's what the spanner's all about. Right, let's cut this out here. So you don't need fusible fleece if you don't have any, but you'll have a very soft bag. But I wouldn't put on anything stiffer than this because we want it, it's a drawstring, so we want it to gather. So I wouldn't use a bosal foam or anything like that. I'd just keep it um, reasonably soft. Yeah. And this, if you haven't seen it before, is a Valiseline. That's the brand name. Um, and I like to use it because normally I can... Um, yeah, but Bonnie, stand duty to the end of June, but you've got to complete by the end of June. And we haven't got enough time now, it's going to be July. Um, you've got to have everything signed and done and dusted and everything. So, And it's taking on average apparently 128 days to exchange at the moment. Anyway, believe it, um, you can use a hot iron and steam normally with this and it doesn't wrinkle, which is why I like to use this one. But um, again, if you've got a heavier fabric, you won't need it. And if you just wanted a softer bag, then that would work fine. Anyway, so I'll just do the same on this bit. Yes, it can work out to be a lot of money, Bonnie. But I don't intend on moving house again, so that should be the last time. Right, so just the same on this one. Oh, look at that, I missed a bit. Who knew? I've just missed a little bit of the fabric. Uh, do you know, I thought that looked wonky. Um, I'll show you. As I was saying it, look, I'll send it from the other side. This serves me right for not doing as I normally say to do and do one piece at a time, isn't it? So I'm just going to undo that. And move it over and capture it. So again, these things happen shouldn't really happen when I'm showing you how to do something, but you know, these, these things happen. So let's take that back there. Just a little bit more this way. Just cutting through the stitches. And move that over so I've actually caught it a little bit more. Tell you what, a quick on pick would be better, wouldn't it? Let's do this. You know, these little tools, you wouldn't be without them, but you never want to use them. That will do. Right, so I'm just going to move that fabric over and sew it. So I actually catch it this time. That's it. Just check I've got it right this time. little bit more so I haven't been wishing and talking and reading all at the same time that's better I'll show you so that's my perfect little line it's just got a thread there right so got a couple of threads there There we go. Right, I'll trim those back later. You don't want to see me do that. So now we can iron the second side on here. <laughs> Showing it's live, I can't edit. No, things like that happen, you know. Um, so not things don't always go according to plan, but things are fixable, which is the the beauty, I think. That one's facing up. Was that one's facing down? Is um, just making those two face in the same direction so they're both facing upwards we're getting there right who else have we got the sound's distorted it's okay at, i'm okay at this end don't know where we're moving to Lynn. um anywhere across the country we just can't find anywhere we like enough at the moment. Apart from the one that we put the offer in that uh, wasn't accepted. So there you go. Things are meant to be. 
Oh, never ever use furniture polish, Helene, on my sewing machine. I'd use a, a, a damp cloth, maybe. Um, if I've got marks on it, um, like pen marks or glue marks or anything like that, I might dampen the cloth with some methylated spirits. Um, but nothing, nothing that you spray anywhere near your sewing machine, so because we don't want that going inside. There we go. Okay, I've only got a little bit in the corner there to patch up. So I just need to cut a little square out here. It goes in there. There you go. And that's that. So don't even waste the small bits. <coughs> there we go. And I'll trim that out, it's hot. And trim that back. One final thing before I start to put the rest of this together, I'm just going to top stitch just underneath the piping, just because I think it looks nice. I'll have a longer stitch on that. So I like, I like a bit of top stitching because it, um, it gives a professional look to your work, but it helps to hold everything together as well. Just that a bit of extra added detail, isn't it? So there, so that's that one. Oh, same with this one, so they match. Yeah, so that's all I've done. Now we're going to take two and a half inch strips, and these are going to make a channel across the top of the bag. So I'm going to cut that to the same size. So that's two and a half by 12 inches. Like so. And I'm going to fold the ends over by about half an inch and just sew over the ends. same with this piece. Haven't had any coffee yet, Lois, no. Now what is doing in there? And there we go. Oh, thanks Helen. This is actually a, um, a fabric bundle, if you want it. Um, there we go. If you want it, it's on, it's on my website, and Debbie Shaw Sewing, and it's a bundle of the two fabrics together. Um, we didn't put three or a plain in there, because there's so many different colours you could use to go with it. Um, we've got the pale blues, there's the peachy colour. I thought black worked really well as well. So I we could have done a black lining in the bag. Um, so I'm just trying to, I, I keep seeing your messages scrolling round, and I'm missing them, I know. So I do, do apologise if I miss your if you miss your comments. Um, Jeanette and Helen and Sharon. I do have a Facebook page, Diana, yes, it's just Debbie Shaw Sewing. Lynn, no, I'm not back on Sewing Street. Um, I launched my book on there the other day, but I'm, I'm not, I won't be presenting on Sewing Street anymore. Um, don't mind making the occasional appearance on any of the shopping channels, to be honest, but I'm not I'm not tied to any particular channel. Anyway, so that's what I've just sewn and folded the ends over. I'm going to fold that in half and sew it facing downwards to the top of the bag. So we could have a few clips in there, could we not? And I'm just going to sew close to the edge because there will be another seam. Oh, the seam allowances, I'm only using the edge of the foot, so it's about a quarter of an inch, maybe 
a little bit more than a quarter of an inch doesn't really matter I didn't use a, a piping foot jacket I sewed straight over the top of it hello Mary in Australia so again just close to the edge just to hold it in place I do have a piping foot, actually, Jackie. Maybe I should uh, give it a go. But I just find with this particular piping, because it's so fine, it's, um, it's quite easy to sew over. So that's that channel there. Well, let's do the same with the other side. So again, we're just going to fold that in half. That goes to the top. And then we'll sew straight across there make sure it's in the middle morning Sue there we go if you're ordering with the website by the way we're getting loads of questions at the moment saying where's my order um, the post office are still saying two weeks we're using Royal Mail to keep the, the cost down. Um, we were chatting this morning, actually, me and Kim, saying that maybe we should add um, a tracking facility, but it's going to double the cost of your postage. So, But if you'd like that, then let me know. Um, the post office has taken two weeks, and remember, we've just had a really long bank holiday, so they've been off for four days, so things are a little bit slow at the moment. Um, right, now I need two lining pieces. So my lining needs to be the same size as the outside of my bag. So I'm going to use my rainbow fabric. If you didn't want to use your pattern fabric, then that's where you'd use a plane instead. And I'm just cutting down to the right size. Yes, Megan, we do sell this on the website. Um, <laughs> Sabina, you've got a lovely husband by the sounds of it. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, yeah, some, some are coming through really quickly. Some are just taking their time. I don't know why. Um, morning, Rachel in Philadelphia with her coffee. Right, that goes across there. And I'm just going to... Oh, right sides together. And I'm just going to sew straight across the top. Faux leather. Are they easy to sew through? Um, yeah, if you um, use a denim needle or if your machine's struggling a little bit, turn the hand wheel by hand. They're already stitched down the side. Um, what I like to do is to just put a little bit of glue on the strap when I fold it over and to make it stronger as well. Um, but yeah, you can sew through it quite easily, but they're quite surprisingly actually, because they do look very thick. Um, I, won't, I must have missed the rude comment. People have nothing better to do sometimes, don't they? Um, today, Paula just making a drawstring bag so it's just a really quick simple bag um, it's from the book the half yard summer compilation compilation um, but in the book it's a purse it's uh, quite a small size so I'm making a bigger version of it um, so same with these two pieces right sides together morning Jan thank you Sarah right so again just straight together across the top like so Oh, we haven't checked on the well, no, we haven't got anybody on the website. We're unexpectedly on the website this morning. I was just playing around with the software. So I wonder if, if we can do all three at the same time. Yeah, I agree with you there, Sharon. I think only only once, maybe twice, have we had an order not turn up at all. So Royal Royal Mail are pretty good. Um, right, so I've got two of those. These are going to go right sides together, matching up the seams and so all the way around but leave a gap in the bottom so we can turn it the right side out. With my felting machine, Lynn. I, I haven't used my felting machine for a long, long time to be honest. six weeks to complete a house sale in the US maybe we should move there we did look at it once upon a time moving to uh, Florida but um, didn't happen so 
So I'm lining up the, the piping at the side as well, which is why I trimmed the piping down earlier on. And you go. I'm going to lengthen this stitch a little bit. I've gone up to three. Because sometimes when you're sewing with wadding or fleeces, um, there's a bit of drag on your sewing machine needle and it can um, make it go a bit slower and shorten the stitch. So I've just made that a bit longer while I go over these bits. So let's go across the bottom. I'm just going to turn my iron off because I tend to forget. A swim bag with ripstop would be a lovely idea. I've never used ripstop, but yes, I think that would be a lovely idea. <laughs> Lisa, that's a thing, isn't it? If you're downsizing, what do you do with all of your stuff? We're upsizing and I still don't know what we're going to do with all of our stuff. We're looking at outbuilding. Oh, Bernadette's going a bit wonky. No, I did I, I did start, I did start a wonky ditty for you, but I didn't have a chance to finish it because it's been a bit busy. Um, so Wednesday, Wednesday on the website and Facebook, we'll, do, we'll have a bit of a ditty, shall we? Morning, Debbie. She's a bit late this morning, she said. Hello, Nalini from India. Welcome along. Oh, Christina, that's all right. Don't have to feel terrible because your order didn't arrive. That's not your fault at all. I'm just saying it just very rarely happens. Royal Mail are generally very, very good. And they're very nice people. We took, <laughs> we took a few sacks of mail into our um, into the post office near the office yesterday and um, the girls were saying oh it's been such a quiet day today we're just saying we need a Debbie day so we did we took them about seven sacks full of post to keep them busy all day and they love it they're so nice right back down this side until we meet press a foot tension no jacket um, we've talked about tensions before um, I mean the top tension. Um, my machine doesn't hold the fabric very well. If uh, try, have you got a press a foot pressure dial? Um, if you have try increasing that, the press a foot pressure dial is mine's on the top just here. Um, I don't tend to touch it to be honest, unless I do have a problem. But if you've got very lightweight or thin fabrics, if you increase the press a foot pressure, it'll put more pressure onto the foot as it's sewing. And if it's very thick fabrics, then you can lift it up. Um, I don't I don't tend to use it a lot to be honest but maybe have a play with that if you've got one. Oh, I'm sewing away without telling you what I've done I'm just going to box the bottom so this is nothing new I'm simply going to pull the two sides out so that's the bottom that's the side and have the seams sitting on top of each other and then I'm going to sew straight across. If you wanted to measure and make sure that that is a right angle triangle, that's fine. Debbie, Debbie, I haven't got my ditty book. I don't know where my ditty book's gone. I've got to start writing them all over again. Right, so down here. Well, that's the that's the office, uh, the office post office, Amanda. We're not moving offices just yet. We're there for a few years. It's just the house we're moving. Rachel, thank you for saying that. They, I, our post, postman will say exactly the same thing. They're just so busy. Um, and it is online orders, isn't it? And I don't really think it's going to change very much personally. I think people are getting so used to ordering online, they'll carry on. Um, the name of the book is that one. It's brand new. You have 40 projects. This is for um, NAMI and it's a compilation of projects that were uh, that are in my other half yard books with five new ones as well and the bag that i'm making is a larger version of that purse so that's quite small it's about six inches or so tall this is um that this is a lot bigger but it's the same technique so i just thought i'd show you that one um the book is available on my website on debbie shaw sewing I'll, I'll be honest with you, if you want it signing, 
then um, order from my website. Um, but leave me a message when you place your order and let me know who you want it signing to. Um, I always sign the book, so I just put my name in there. But if you want it signing to somebody particular, then, then leave me a message and let me know. If you're not fussed about having a signature, you can get 20% discount if you order directly from my publisher, who are Search Press, and you use the discount code DD105. That's in the UK only, I'm afraid. Um, would somebody mind just putting on YouTube and on Facebook the discount code for me? It's um, all the wsearchpress.com and it, the, the code is capital D, capital D105. And you get 20% off any book. So not necessarily just mine, that's any book that you order. If you spend more than £20, you get P&P free as well. So, so if you're not fussed about a signature, then don't buy from me. Go buy from Search Press. If you'd like it signed, um, then um, it's debbiecrosssewing.com. Coffee. Thank you. People have been asking where you were. I got stuck in traffic. What, from the house to the studio? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Jackie, so draw string bag. I'm going to cut these corners off. It's dead easy. We do that on a, a Saturday morning and a Wednesday afternoon. These are quick and simple projects that you can make in an hour or so and no patterns involved. So that's what we do on a Saturday and a Wednesday afternoon. Um, okay, so we have this. So let's turn it all the right side out. <laughs> Thanks. Do check on Amazon. You might better get a, a better deal there. I'm all for the deal. <laughs> Morning, Cher. Right, so push out those corners. And I have a hole in my lining. So I'm going to sew across there. Thanks, Shirley. DD105, 20% discount on, of any book. Is bobbing in the way. She was here a minute ago. Um, she actually brought a bone down. She's been chewing away down there, but she's um, she's gone back in. I think now it's not very warm down here. And she doesn't like the cold. Thank you, Janet. That's nice of you to say. Um, no difference as to cutting the corners or boxing them like this. The the end result looks exactly the same. So that's just personal preference. However, you prefer to do your bottoms your boxed bottoms. Let's push the lining inside. So we have this. And this is why I turned over the edges of the channel by half an inch when the seam allowance is a quarter of an inch um, because then you've got a gap that you can actually sew, uh, sorry, thread your um, ribbon or cord or whatever it is you're using through. So let's just sew around the top, just to hold everything in place. So not through the channel, I'm sewing on the back bit there. Stitch a little bit longer. And away we go. So that holds up all the layers together. So I've just dropped something. And um, keeps it nice and neat and tidy, but it looks nice as well. As I said earlier, I do list. I do miss I do I do miss Bob Cam. I'm I can't hear I'm reading as I'm talking. I do like top stitching and I can't get my Bob Cam to switch on. It is all down here and set up and everything, but when I press on it just doesn't do anything. I think I need a new camera. Back to my entry there. I've missed something, haven't I, Lisa? What have I got to say something about? Oh, I'll have, to, I'll have to go back and have a look. <laughs> so as dogs miss bob cam. I'll have to get a new bob cam, I think. If you're new, Bobbin is my dog and bob cam is the camera that normally points at a bed down here, but it's not working. Again. 
Remember, Amanda, if you're lining a bag with waterproof fabric, it won't be waterproof where your stitches are. So you may want to put a little bit of wet glue over the top of that if you want it completely waterproof. Um, so I was just looking for my scissors. And apart from that, if you're sewing on the vinyl side of the waterproof fabric, then um, a walking foot may help or a Teflon foot or a little bit of masking tape underneath the foot of your sewing machine to help it glide over. Otherwise that, I think it's, um, oh, oh no, oh no Yvette, you don't want to see Lise, oh no. She knows I'm only joking, right. So I, I'm going to cut two pieces of cord and this is just piping cord, quarter of an inch thick. Um, I like it because it looks quite nautical somehow, I don't know. So we'll try and get some of this on the website actually. So let's do that. And then have I got a pin or something? A safety pin should do it. I'm going to thread one piece of cord through that side and out the other that way. And one through that side and out that side. Um, so that they draw in opposite directions. Lisa Fenn can't stand the woman. Um, some cord. Yeah, I'll try and get some of this on the website. Lisa's actually a friend of mine and has been for how many years, Lisa? Ten years, is it now? Must be. Have I only met her a couple of times? Have I met you twice? I've met you once. I've only met you once, haven't I, in person? But we regularly communicate. You know, sometimes when you just hit it off with somebody and you get on really well. Salt to the earth. So you can stop crying now and do your job. <gasps> drop the feed dogs for first. Oh, didn't go back. Oh, mm. When you drop your feed dogs, Jenny, um, they don't automatically go back up when you switch them back up. They'll go back up the first time the needle goes up and down. Um, so flick the switch up, turn the handle towards you and they will pop back up. So it's not, it's not the case that your son got it to work and you couldn't. He probably started to sew and you didn't. Right. Thank you, Dawn. So that goes in that way and out this way. I've tied a knot in the end because it does tend to fray a lot, this stuff. Should have put a bit of sellotape around it, I think. Um, thank you, Shirley. Car yeah, my, my books, I think my book's still on pre-order on Amazon. I haven't looked, I'm not sure. Um, Sewing Street launched it last week, so they have some. I've been taking pre-orders on the website, but uh, yeah, do you told Lisa. Um, but I do actually have the stock. So I, I may not have passed on the message to Kimberly that we're not supposed to send the books out for two weeks. I can't remember if I told her that or if she started to send them out. I'll have to check on that one. So I'm tying the ends of these together now. Hello, Ali Fenn in Western Australia. Oh, Bernadette's made the Madison club, mm, club bag. Uh, oh, lobster clips in bronze. Let me double check if we've got any. Knocking around somewhere. Um, the Madison bags, um, just to let you know when the stock's gone, I think there's only about half a dozen frames left. So I'm just looking for some sellotape. Um, we're not going to get any more in. So we did an offer a few weeks ago whereby if you bought the, the bag frame, you'd have the, uh, the pattern emailed to you free of charge. Um, and it was only supposed to be for a week, but we carried on. Um, so if you do want to order that Madison bag frame, again, there's not very many left now, um, but you'll still get that free pattern too. Can I order the book as my present for reviewing the website? Sharon, that's, um, I don't see why not, if that's what they're doing, but that's a half yard sewing club thing. The girls there have organized anything to do with um, website reviewing and stuff like that. So have a word with them. However, I, I don't know who you're dealing with. It'll either be Claire or Sophie or Caroline, but whoever you're dealing with, ask, ask them if you don't mind. They, half yard, they, they just get on with it. I don't get involved in things like that. Um, Seal the ends of the piping's cord. 
there's our just not a work Sharon if you don't want to knot it you could maybe t well put some ribbon around it maybe a little that would have been nice uh, matching ribbon from here but yeah you'll need to do something with it to stop them fraying you could leave them the ends really long and, and have them frayed and then just the knot that would have been quite nice as well <laughs> so but oh, the books are all over the place to be in I know she's um, she's seen it in Germany we're worldwide Oh, going in. Oh, that's going to be a bit tight because I've already got some cord in there. It'll do. It'll go in. It will go in. Shall I show you what I'm doing? I'm just trying to get that to go in the end there because that's rather a large knot, which is why I was looking for my sellotape, which is knocking around somewhere, I'm sure. That's not going to work. Let me... Um, I've, got an, I've got a plan B. I'll use a bodkin. Whip the ends. What's whipping the ends, Linda? I wasn't in the Girl Guides. I was in the Girls' Brigade. But that, we, ne we never did whipped ends. Right. Bodkin. There, like so. I'm trying to think if we've got any other news to tell you, but I don't think I do. That'll go in. That should do it. Right. We do have more um, dressmaking fabrics coming on the website. Oh, we've got some more cottons as well. We know if, if you've seen or if you're a, a regular, um, we did the spotty cotton poplin, and then Kim brought in some um, hearts and flowers, just in tiny little ditzy prints. Um, and we've got some she's just brought in um, with I think it's butterflies. Not on the website yet. It should be going on next week, I think. Right, oh, a thread snapper, it burns the ends of cord. Oh, I didn't know that, Ellen. It was a school day. Um. <laughs> I don't know how my microphone's distorting anything because it's always in the same place. I'll have, a, I'll have a play with it for next week. Okay, so this is just about done. So I've got my two cords through the top. When you pull that, you get the drawstring. So there's lots of different ways of making drawstrings bags. Sometimes you can put a channel around the top. Um, sometimes you can just fold over the top and open up the sides and thread it through that way. But I just thought having the extra channel on the top means you can put a contrast fabric there and it's a nice little finishing touch there as well. So that's that, that's that finished. So I think that one will be going to my granddaughter. I don't know what she's going to keep in there. Mind you, I've got about two then, haven't I? Um, have you were you contacted oh they're talking to each other sorry about that I, d I feel like i'm interrupting on your conversation sometimes <laughs> it is a bag now robber yes okay so that's that right have you got anything else to tell you before we disappear off um let me just have a check on the website can't see anybody on there but that doesn't mean that you're not there because that doesn't always work as you know um, I shall see you again. I don't know what we're going to do on Wednesday, actually. What do you fancy? We've been doing some techniques over the last couple of weeks. Um, so if you wanted to have a look back, if you go on to... They're free. If you have a look on debbieshawsewing.com, the first thing you come to is actually videos. So we've been doing... Um, we did twin needle sewing and jersey last Wednesday. We did free motion embroidery. We had a chat about um, shearing elastic, I think, the week before. So we've been tending to do a lot of techniques on a Wednesday. So if there's anything particular that you want me to demonstrate, then come and let me know. Um, if there's any particular um, projects that you'd like to make, again, Wednesdays and, and Saturdays, we're normally here for about an hour. And um, it's got to be something quite simple and without patterns. A phone holder is a nice idea, Anne. Write all of these down. Hello, Teresa from Indiana. Thank you very much. Um, thanks, Amanda. Right, okay, I've got, I need I need to go to the supermarket now. Just do a bit of shopping. A quick machine clean. That's a good idea, Debbie. Shall we do that on Wednesday? Clean because this is probably due for a clean, so that could be quite a good one. Um, cleaning your sewing machine. We shall be doing on Wednesday at two o'clock, and that was Debbie Deakin. So. Um, 
infusible number used. I don't know what, what that means. Holder for hand sanitizer, that's a good one. A hold diffuse sewing machine. Mm. Mar Mar if you have a look back over the video when I've gone, um, you'll be able to see how we do that. We've, we've done a box bag share, but I can't remember when or where. But if you ha if you have a look back, we did a box bag quite some uh, quite recently. A toy bag, that's a good one as well. Okay, I'm going to have a read back through all of your messages. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, let me just check we're all up to date here. Yep, I think so. Um, the cord that I've threaded through the top is quarter of an inch. The cord that I've used for the piping, um, that's Janet, um, was an eighth of an inch, but it was pre-made. Pre um, we sell that on the website. It's already made up. Um, doing gathers is a good one as well. Yeah. I'll have to go back through and write all of these down because I'll, f I'll forget. Um, thanks, Lynn. Thanks for being with me this morning. And thanks, Deanna, too. Anyway, I'm going to go. I need to do some shopping. Um, so I shall see you again Wednesday afternoon on my website at 2 o'clock and on Facebook at the same time. Otherwise, it's next Saturday um, here on Facebook and on Oh, it's raining. Oh, great. Uh, sorry, here on Facebook and on YouTube and, if I can, on the website all at the same time. So I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for your company today. And you go take care. Carry on sewing. See you soon. Bye-bye.